I raise, raise the, the flag. flag. I'm going first. Charge and draw. I'll equip J Star Ring by paying one gauge and one life. I body call Shining Dragon and Jackknife. I place one card into the soul and pay one gauge. And when Charger enters Jack Soul, I can pay one gauge to draw an additional card into my hand. Next, I'll call Dragon Arms to the left. When this card enters view, I can charge one gauge. Charge. And then I'll cross knights into Jack Knife. Next, I'll cast Star Believer. I'll soul blast one card to draw two additional cards to my hand and gain one life. Next, I'll cast Star Jack Repair. I'll charge one gauge. And for the drop zone, I add one card into its soul. I'll add the main boss into Jack Soul. I also gain one life by Body Gift. Now, I call to the left, Dimension E. Entering battle phase, J Star Ring will attack the center. And when J Star Ring attacks, I can activate its ability. I can put one card from my hand into the soul of the new dragon on the field. If I do, I can charge and draw. Dimension E skills activate. When a new dragon gains a soul, I can draw an additional card to my hand. Fine, I'll take two damage. With that, I will end my turn. Alright, it looks like it's my turn. I draw, I charge, and draw. I pay one gauge to equip Daniel's Sword. And I cast Blood Pool Formation. I can draw one card and for this turn, all my Purgatory Knights cannot be destroyed or returned to the hand. I call Chaos Daryl Burke to the center. I look at the top three cards on my deck, I'll add one card to my hand and the rest goes to the drop zone. Next, I'll cast Banquet of the Unrighteous. I can look at the top three cards on my deck and put one monster among them into my hand. I'll put Necro Palm Dragon into my hand. The rest goes to the drop zone. Now, I'll body go to the right. Daniel Sword Dragon. But I'm paying one gauge and putting one Purgatory Knights into his soul. I'll put another right. Daniel Sword into his soul. By oversize, this card leaves the field. I set first two. I call to the center. Size zero. I call Necro Palm to the left. Entering my battle phase. Hold up. I'll activate the effect of J Arsenal. When this card's in the jackknife, it gets moved. I'll move my body to the center. Very well. All that gets in my way shall be purged. Necro Palm and Claw, they attack the center. I'll activate skill of the main force. For once per turn, whenever Jack will be destroyed, I can pay one gauge and nullify its destruction. It stays there. Resistance is futile. Damn your sword. You are Fyndar. I so guard. Sacrifices need to be made for victory. Sacrifice yourself, Necro Palm Dragon. Necro Palm Dragon is at center drop zone. And with Necro Palm skill, I get superior call one size one from the drop zone to the field. I also will call Ring Blade Dragon by paying one gauge and putting the top card into his soul. Purgatory Heim skill activate. Whenever monster is destroyed, I can gain one life and charge one gauge. Activate skill of Daniel Sword. When a monster is destroyed, it, I give itself plus 3k and I draw an additional card to my hand. Due to being retired, Daniel Sword will reset once again. Ring Blade Dragon, Slay Jack Knife. Sogar, Jake Arsenal protect Jack. Lord Daniel, attack Jack Knife Dragon one more time. Sogar, Noble Sacrifice. When this card sent to the drop zone, it goes back to my hand instead. I can gain one life and charge one gauge. And whenever another monster is retired, she can resend herself. And then this will resend you to the retirement effect. Now, Ring Blade Dragon, Death Dance Masquerade! Oh no, Jack! Now we are wide open. This is the end for you. Damn your sword, attack the fighter! I'll take two damage. Ring Blade Dragon, sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Sacrifice. Resend Damn your sword, Dragon. Ring Blade Dragon, in fact, whenever a monster is destroyed, she will resend itself. This will never end. Ring Blade Dragon, attack the fighter! I take it. Lord Damn your attack the fighter one more time! Ah, uh, take. This will never end. Damn your sword, sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Sacrifice Sogar. Resend Damn your sword. When a card is destroyed, resend Ring Blade Dragon. And with that, it is lethal. Ring Blade Dragon attacks the fighter. Uh, I'll take. And let's not forget that I'm supposed to gain two more life and two more gauge from the ability of Purgatory Hive. Now, I myself will attack you for two damage to the center. I'll take it. Lord Daniels, attack the fighter again. Hold on, I'll cast Star Jack Docking. I'll pay one gauge and from the drop zone, i add one cut into the soul of a new dragon on the field. I'll add Seal Fighter into Dimension E. Dimension E skill. Whenever a card enters a new dragon, I can draw an initial cut to my hand. Draw. The attack is nullified. What? I failed to kill? Doesn't matter. Sacrifice yourself, Red Ring Dragon. I'll gain one life and charge one gauge. Daniel Sword, restand again. Now, show the fighter what is true pain. Daniel Sword attacks the fighter. I'll soul blast and nullify the attack. Very well, I shall end my turn. With such a huge difference in advantage, there's no way you can defeat me in the next turn. We will see about that. Let's go, buddy. I draw. 
I charge and draw. I'll call Galaxy Dragon Jackknife to the right. And thanks to Dimension E, the core cost is free. But I have to put one card from the drop zone into the Soul of Jack. I'll put Silk Fighter into Galaxy right. Dragon Jackknife. And since the Soul entered New Dragon on the field, I can draw one card. Draw! Soaring Wings of Victory, I cast Dragon's Wing. I'll pay one gauge and put one card from the drop zone into the Soul of a New Dragon. I'll put Triple Buster into right. Jack. And for this turn, Dead Monster gains double attack. And next, I'll cast Star Jack Repair. Charge one gauge and put one card from the drop zone into the Soul of a New Dragon. I'll equip Jack with the main force. Right. And now I'll enter the battle phase. Alright, even though Lord Gambios have the move ability, since you have a Pantrate monster on the field, I choose not to move. In that case, I'll first attack with J Star Ring. When J Star Ring attacks, I can put one card from my hand into a Soul of a New Dragon on the field. I'll put another Triple Buster right. into Jack. And if I do, I can charge and draw. So that's two damage to the fighter. I shall take two damage. Alright, now Galaxy Dragon and Jackknife attacks the fighter for five crits. There's no victory without pain. I'll take it. And with double attack, Jack re-stands. Jack attacks the fighter one more time for five critical. Don't you know when to give up? I cast Black Dragon Shield. I'll nullify the attack and gain one life. Galaxy Dragon and Jack activate its skill. Form change. From the drop zone, I can evolve Jack into Shining Dragon and Jackknife. And thanks to Dimension E, I do not need to pay any gauge. However, I have to put one card from the drop zone into the soul. And from the drop zone, I will equip J Arsenal into the soul of Jack. Reset my buddy and attack the fighter for 4 critical again. Very well, I'll take it. Dimension E attack the fighter for 1 critical. Alright, I'll take it. And with that, your turn ends and victory is mine. I don't think so. Final phase! By Soul Blasting 1 and Pain 3 gauge, I cast Shining Punisher! This effect deals 5 damage to your opponent and you cannot activate any revival effects. No, this can't be. 